Hey yo, what's going on guys? Biggish Lester here and I'm back with another video. So before we get into the video, I just wanted to say thank you guys a lot for 30 subs. Um, it really means a lot to me and now let's try and go for 40 subs. But in this video, I really just want to talk about um, is the crates warehouse worth it as the large warehouses are 50% off right now. So if you want to enjoy the video, make sure you like and you're subscribed to the channel. But really, let's get into it. Okay, so the crates business is actually my favorite business in this game. Um, so the first, uh, the first business you should be usually buying is the bunker. But sometimes people like to buy the crates warehouse as their um, first business in the game. I bought this one as my second. So I bought the bunker first, and then I bought this one. But really, to buy this business, um, you're gonna need to have a CEO office. So basically, just go to Money and Services, and then Dynast C8. And then once we go here, this one is a million dollars. These ones are a little bit more. And obviously, this week we have 40% off on all of the um, CEO offices. So if you go on to buy this one. It will only cost you 600k as of this week but then once you've bought your CEO office you just want to enter that's the entrance you're gonna enter this is your assistance but really I'm gonna come out here and sit down and log into your computer okay so I'm gonna sit down and log in and then so once you're here we have um, three options as you can see um, the vehicle cargo is the complete different business and it costs more so if you guys want just comment down below and I'll basically do a vehicle cargo um, like money guide or whatever for you guys but really you're gonna want to go into special cargo and then warehouse map which you can see I've made almost seven million from this business so far it's really good but okay so basically as you can see you got all owned small medium and large okay so I just have two small right now um, it makes you basically the same amount of money I mean you don't need to have like a large starting out but as on, as on like right now for this week I do suggest you buy the large ones as they're on sale but if you're watching this video like later on don't buy the large ones at first if you don't have that much money just buy the small ones they're good and then once you make that money you can just go to small okay so the small warehouses each carry 16 crates right and what you want to make sure is that you have two warehouses so don't go and buy like one large or something make sure you always have two because that way once you source like three crates for one the to source another three crates it's gonna have a five minute cooldown so in that five minute you can go and source for your other warehouse and then once that one's cooling the other one will be done so instead of just waiting five minutes every time you're basically going back to back but if you just don't have enough money and you have wine you just have um one warehouse then you're just gonna have to wait you can do like a headhunter or a site here between but that's why I suggest having two but basically go and buy one of these this one right here is about 210k and then this one right here is like 250k but once you've bought that you're gonna want to go to your um, computer over here oh I just one second so you go here you sit down log in and then you go to your special cargo warehouse map and it's gonna come to owned and then you just go here and you basically press this one you pay like 18k for three crates make sure you're always sourcing three crates and not two or one three is what you always want to do but that's how you can source crates and you go on to do a mission and everything so I'll just show you guys how that looks like
Okay guys, so basically with um, CEO crates, you can rather get, um, sometimes you will get um, a van that will be carrying all three crates and basically it makes it way easier because all you're doing is basically stealing the van and like picking it up and then you're just driving it back to your warehouse and all of the three um, crates have been delivered and it will only take you like three or four minutes but um, every little bit like 50% of the time you'll get three different crates and you have to basically grab one go back grab one go back grab one bubble go back and that can take up some time but um, basically if you have friends like if you have three friends to help you or no two other friends to help you so there's three of you it would make it a lot faster but you could always do it solo if you have like an oppressor or something um, you could do it solo I'm just using my Honda Civic right now but I'm gonna call on my oppressor for the next one but basically um, those are the two different types of crates to source
Okay guys, so basically I just wanna, I'm gonna show you guys what it's like to um, source some crates with uh, when it's a van as well. But before I do that, I just wanna tell you guys that instead of having to go to your CEO office every time, this can also be done with a terabyte to like source crates. So basically, once you go on your terabyte, you can just come here, go into your laptop right here, and then you can see special cargo 18 that one has a cooldown and i can source for my other warehouse so if you don't have the um terabyte already i highly suggest uh, you get it you have to get it it can save you a lot of time because you wouldn't have to travel back to your ceo office and basically a lot of people ask like where should i place my terabyte because you don't really drive it around right so usually if you have like your two warehouses just put it in the middle or put it beside just one of the warehouses instead of moving it constantly so i just like to put it beside one of my warehouses that's the quickest way to me but if you have two that are really close to each other or something you can just put the terabyte between the two warehouses but now i'm going to show you guys how um it looks like when it's just the van so I'm gonna play that for you guys right now Okay guys, so as you can see, there was four crates, but I knew it was going to be on this one because the last one that shows up on the map is always the van that you have to go for. So if you're ever wondering um, which one it is, it is the last one. Also, when you're trying to stop the vans, um, one second. So now, obviously, the van knows I'm after it, but if they don't know that you're after it, you don't want to stop them, like, right... Um, directly in front of them because they won't stop for you but if there is like another vehicle like the one over there and they stop they will stop behind them as long as like they don't know that you're after them so always make sure there's a vehicle in front of them and you um, wait um, in front of the vehicle in front of the van okay that way they stop so if you're enjoying the video so far make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already but I'm gonna go get this fan and deliver it. Okay guys, so basically, um, as you can see, my van got blown up. I was almost there, but whatever. Um, so basically, when you're doing CEO crates and like vehicle cargo and everything, um, obviously, as there was like a bunch of jets and everything running around and they blew me up and everything, 
you want to be in a solo public um, session so if you don't know how to do that you can literally just search it up um, like how to get in a solo public lobby in GTA 5 and then just make sure to include like if you're on PS4 or Xbox or whatever there are many ways to do it it's really easy and basically you just have to turn your Wi-Fi settings a little bit down and once you join a session everyone it will basically say everyone has left the session so if you don't know how to do that go ahead and do that but really that was it like the um the vehicle ones are way faster um like i was almost there the vehicles only take five minutes but the ones where you have to keep going back and forth if you are like a solo player it might take you 12 to 15 minutes um compared like what vehicle you have and everything but that was really the video for today so is the crates warehouse worth it worth it um yes definitely is it's my favorite business i think because once you're in a solo public lobby and you have two warehouses and you're just sourcing them back and forth you're going to be making a lot of money so basically if you guys want um just comment down below and if this video gets like five likes i'll just make basically make a video tomorrow on like tips and tricks for the crates business so like how to sell your stuff without getting blown up by npcs and everything like that and just basically like when there are four um vans on the map which one has um the crates and all those kind of stuff so if it's video gets five likes um i'll just make a video on like top 10 trick tips and tricks for crates warehouses business but really that's gonna be it for the video if you enjoyed make sure you like and make sure you subscribe to the channel but i'll see you in the next video